Hey everybody, welcome back to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. In this one, I'll be covering the achievement Leave No One Behind, which is to save every tiefling refugee you can throughout the game in a single playthrough. So, this one can be a little difficult if you miss a single one of them. Obviously, you failed the achievement, and they can die very easily. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first tieflings you're probably going to run into is going to be over here at the roadside cliffs waypoint. So once you get here, just head straight north. This is very early on in the game. And there's going to be two tieflings guarding Lysel in like a cage. Um, big note here, don't shoot Lysel out of the cage or don't break the cage just yet. Either deceive these two tieflings or persuade them to leave. Because if you do break Lysel out while they're there, they can go hostile. Or actually, they will go hostile. And then you're going to have to fight them. So just... Have someone that's good at charisma, talk your way out of it, and then have them leave. And then you'll be able to save these two for the time being. Okay, our next stop is actually going to be the Druid Grove. There's a lot of tieflings you need to interact with here, so just be prepared for that. If you don't know where the Druid Grove is, just head straight north from where you saved Lysel, and you'll run into some humans that get attacked. Just follow the storyline, and you'll wind up in this area. So... With Roland and his posse, what you're going to want to do is convince them to stay at the camp, because if you don't, they'll go out and then they'll die in Act 2. So you want to make sure that you keep them here with the tieflings in the uh, in the group. Okay, now that we convinced Roland and his little entourage to stick around, you're going to make your way over to the other side of the Druid Grove. This is above the bear, the sleeping bear on the elevator, if you know where that is. Otherwise, just kind of look where I am on the map. You're going to see this bugbear assassin trying to kill this random tiefling girl. Make your way over here. You may want to turn on turn-based mode when you get close because he, still, he will start walking up. And if he does get next to her, he will just one-shot her. And then this is the first of the tieflings that is very easily killed. So just be mindful of that. And also be mindful of your difficulty. If you are playing on tactician mode, these bear, bugbears can really hurt. Continuing on this wonderful adventure to save all the tieflings, you're going to make your way down to the druid grove proper, where you're going to see a mob basically yelling at these druids because their daughter has been captured by Korga, the head druid. So you're going to really can't do much wrong here. They're going to basically tell you to go see Korga. So walk down there, talk to Korga, and you're going to convince her, whether through persuasion, deception, whatever, to let Arabella go. Um... For context, you may have specific choices available based on your class. For example, in this clip here, you'll see that I have a paladin option, and the paladin is able to basically be the judge over this little situation. I don't really understand how it works. Seems like weird politics. But every class might have their own kind of unique options here. But all you have to do is make sure that Arabella lives this encounter. Okay, next up on the list of tieflings that make bad choices that we need to save is Murkon. This is a small tiefling boy who's decided to take a forever bath with harpies over here on the coast. So we're going to go save him. Um, basically, if you don't know where this is, it's directly east of that stone door where you saved Arabella. So we're going to walk over here, save him, and kill some harpies. One thing you should note is I like to split my team up kind of like how you're seeing here so that way you can the harpies do fly around so they can be kind of annoying to hit if you're not ranged so if you spread them out kind of they'll fly to your melee users up near the top there and then you can just fight them as they come um, another note is Murkon will just wander towards the singing harpy so you want to take that one out as quickly as possible that way he will It'll break the trance, and he will run back towards the town. He doesn't have a lot of health, so if he gets too close to these harpies, they will just, like, one-shot him, especially if you're on tactician mode. And, again, ruin your achievement. So, be mindful of that. Kill the singing one first, and then once you've completed this, you'll have saved this tiefling. Okay, with all those tieflings saved and the others convinced to stick around, now you need to go finish off the goblin leaders at the, go at the goblin camp. So you'll need to kill Priestess Gut, Minthara, and Drar Ragslin. With all three of them dead, you'll have secured the tieflings and made the made it safe for them to travel to Baldur's Gate. Um, and where they're going to get into even more trouble in Act 2 and 3, where you're going to need to save them multiple times. So, 
Um, this is the first part. This is Act 1 basically completed. Just finish off those three leaders, and you'll be good to move on to Act 2. All right, starting Act 2, you're going to end up at Last Light Inn. For those of you that haven't gotten here yet, this is basically a... You have to kind of go here in order to progress the story, I guess, unless you go evil campaign. But if you're going evil campaign, you really can't do this achievement, so there's that. Um, so when you're actually here at Last Light Inn, you're going to need to come talk to Isabella up here, and it's going to trigger a fight. So be mindful. This is a very easy spot to mess this achievement up. These tieflings absolutely love dying here. And if Isabella is taken or is killed, every tiefling dies. So, depending on, again, that your difficulty mode, if you're on Tactician, this one can be tough because you have to keep multiple people alive at different parts of the map. So if you're looking at my gameplay right here, you'll see I am actually have people positioned throughout the area. That way, um, I have people ready to fight every one of these things as they come up. So be mindful of that. These tieflings will die in one to two hits from these gargoyle looking things. And for some reason, Isabella just loves to throw Guiding Bolt at melee range and not heal herself. So she just kills herself repeatedly. So be mindful of that. All right. With Isabella safe, all of your tieflings alive and well, what you're going to need to do is go down into the lobby and talk to them. So make sure that everyone is still good. You're going to find out that Mole is missing. Don't worry, you're going to find her in Act 3. And then talk to Roland. He's going to tell you about all of the other tieflings and that they're at Moonrise Tower. So you're going to be heading that direction. Once you actually get over there, though, before you go into Moonrise Tower, head north towards the House of Healing. We're actually going to help Arabella first. Uh, she is the tiefling girl you saved at the Druid Camp. She's going to be out here looking for her parents. So on your way up, there will be a few mobs that you can deal with. But once you get up here towards the gate, Arabella will be here. There'll be a little cutscene where she'll tell you about her new powers and that she's looking for her family. So to actually find her family, what you're going to need to do is go into the House of Healing's Infirmary, which is to the west. Just head over that direction. There is like... A dozen different ways into the house of healing um, but just make your way to the infirmary however you do it just follow the guide if you want to when you get in there you'll see her parents are lying down interact with them and then you'll take that information back to arabella in your camp and then you will progress her storyline to where she will be saved hey Where's Mum and Pops? No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from... All right. The next tiefling on the list to save is Roland. So after you go towards Moonrise Tower, he will leave the inn in search of his little group. While drunk in his stupor, he thinks he can take on a bunch of these shadows by himself. Spoiler, he can't. So you have to come save him. So from the Wraithwind waypoint, just make your way over here to the southeast, I guess. South south by southeast. And you'll find him down here with a torch. Just kind of standing here like a dumbass. And you're going to save him from these two shadow creatures that he would inevitably die to if you aren't here. So... Very important if you want this achievement, you have to go save him here, or like I said, he will die. Um, after this, he will acknowledge that he is incapable, and then he will go back to the inn and wait for you to save everyone else, because why wouldn't he? God damn it all! I could do nothing right! Not a damn thing! Yes, there is. Instead, I found myself cornered by Shadow... Or not. I failed, Cal and Leah. Alright, so another critical junction for this achievement is at Moonrise Tower, so you need to get to the Moonrise Tower prison. If you haven't been into the prison, as soon as you come to the main doors, just keep going straight. Once you encounter the cutscene with the owner of the estate, it'll be to the right. 
So just go to the right out of the throne room and it'll, there'll be some stairs that lead down. Once you come down here, you're going to notice that you have your tieflings in one cage and some deep gnomes in the other. If you try talking to these gnomes or the tieflings, the guards will react to it, so don't do that. So the best way to do this is have a bludgeoning weapon on hand. So if you have a mace or a maul or something of that nature, whatever type of quality it is, it is you might even be able to do it with a torch. But you'll toss it through the bars while nobody's looking. I advise you put it on turn-based mode once people are kind of far away. You'll toss it in here to the deep gnomes to Wolbrin, and he will break the wall in the back, thus releasing himself, and then he will go save the tieflings. Once they break out, no matter how stealthy you were, the guards will respond, all the gates will open up, and combat will start. So I advise you position yourself accordingly once you give him the item. And then once you fight off all the guards and make your way through the story a little bit, you'll find this boat in the back where the deep gnomes and the tieflings will convene, and then they will ask your opinion. Take them to Moonrise Tower. I have, on my first playthrough, I just sent them. I picked option two. There's a place, you know, across the water. You'll be fine. They were, in fact, fine. However, I picked it on this playthrough. You get to kind of see them get here. And then it's just more secure to make sure that all the tieflings are actually making it as they should. I don't know what happens if you have them wait in the water. I would advise you don't do that. I mean, it might work, but... I have no idea what happens. So as far as the achievement goes, just escort them back, have them pick the first option and they'll make it back to the inn. All right. Now that we're at the inn and we've saved the tieflings from Moonrise, just go around and talk to all the escapees. So talk to Roland and his group, talk to Alfria, the bard, and just talk to all of them, make sure that everybody's good and that they are ready to move on to the next area. Another group of tieflings you're going to need to talk to is Danis and his wife, which is outside of the inn. So as soon as you come out the main doors, just make a left and go down towards the just the path there. And you'll see them talking kind of under the bridge and just talk to them. Make sure that they everything is good with them. And then we'll move on to the next tiefling rescue. All right. The last tiefling we have to save in Act 2 is going to be Zeblor. So you're going to make your way through the story again. Just keep progressing. You're going to inevitably have to fight an individual at Moonrise Tower. Once you beat Phase 1, he's going to do some stuff and a new area is going to be opened up to you, which is the Mind Flayer Colony. When you get here, just follow the path and then hug the left wall. You'll find the Tadpooling Center. Go to the little control panel. Hit the release button. Everything will open. You'll have to fight three mind flayers and some little brains, maybe it's two. And then once you have everybody dead, Zevlor will tell you what really happened and you'll just tell him to go help his people. And then again, keeping him alive. All right, with act two behind us, we're gonna move on to act three. Here at act three, you're just gonna need to talk to some of these tieflings just to make sure they got to where they were supposed to go and so that you can complete the quest that is save the tieflings. The first group you're going to encounter is this refugee camp. It's basically as soon as you get into Baldur's Gate, you'll find them over off to the side. Just follow the path and you'll run into them. The next tieflings you're going to want to go check in on are over at the Elf Song Tavern. You'll check in on Lacrissa and Alfria, the bard and her fighter friend that you saved from Moonrise Tower. Again, you'll just talk to them and ensure that you update your Save the Tieflings quest. All right, so now let's go find Mole and see what she's been up to since Act 2. So start at the Basilisk Gate, make your way to the manhole cover, and then come down here into the sewer. There will be a stone wall there. It's already been blown up. Make your way over to this no entry, no exit door. This is the guild hall itself. Instead of wasting lockpicks, just smash the door down. You can use a sword or a hammer or a spell and no one's going to bother you and you can just walk right in. Once you do get in the door, go down the stairs to your left and then Mole will be there with a shop. Now one thing I didn't showcase in this video, in my first playthrough, 
I went and killed Raphael in his House of Hope because, spoilers, Raphael does make a deal with Mole, and that's how she's in the guild already. So if you go to the House of Hope, you'll find Raphael's and Mole's contract. I did steal that and killed Raphael. I don't know if that affects the achievement, but just giving you a caveat in case it does. All right, we are almost done. Last step. So now we are going to need to go check in on Roland and finish off his quest line. So make your way to the Sorcerer's Sundry, which is to the west of the Basilisk Gateway Point. You'll come inside and find Roland behind the counter. And what we're going to do, just for the sake of the achievement, is kill his boss. If you followed this guide all the way up to this point, Roland will actually join the fight with you. So you do have to be careful and make sure he stays alive. Depending on your difficulty, the mobs up there can be very strong. There's four elementals and his boss, Leroican. And Leroican is a pretty strong mage, so it can get a little dicey. So, make sure you keep him safe. If he dies during the fight, you will lose the achievement. So I advise you save before the fight. I know some people don't like to save scum, so just be careful with that process. This would be a terrible time to lose his achievement. So this is the last step. Once Roland is secured and he has taken over the Sorcerer's Sundry, he will move in his team, and then you will be done until the end of the game. Everyone else will stay safe. All right, so that is going to wrap up this video. I know it was a long process. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I am going to be releasing the She Cannot Be Caged achievement in the next few days as well, since I got that one kind of along the way. Um, if this guy did not work for you, please let me know in the comment section below. I did get the achievement on my first playthrough, so I had to do it all again, and I think I got them all, I'm pretty sure. But if I didn't, please let me know, and I will update the video if I need to. But I hope you enjoyed, I hope this guide was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.